Right now, the district has made a mistake by eliminating so many bus routes. Frustrated parents walked a mile in their kids' shoes today. The March, a first-hand look at what their students will face if the Sweetwater Union High School District goes through with its plan to eliminate bus routes. And they say it's a dangerous move. Paul Downey used to take the bus to get to San Ysidro High School, but come next week, he'll have to find another way, and he's not happy about it. I'm here to fight for our school buses. I'm here to fight for something that I believe is something that they shouldn't have taken away from us, especially that many buses. Paul and other students and parents in the Sweetwater Union High School District marched about three miles Tuesday morning, the same route some students will have to take to get to class. The section that we're walking to school is just not a safe section, and it's not something a lot of us should be walking, especially a lot of young students that are coming into the school. The change is part of the district's efforts to address an ongoing budget shortfall. Four of the 13 high schools are affected. East Lake and Olympian high schools will each cut four routes, while 20 routes are being eliminated in San Ysidro and one in Otay Ranch. Our children are going to be exposed not just to a lot of traffic and congestion, but walking through homeless encampments and other dangers in the community. Although parents were paying $400 a year for bus service, the district says it actually costs about $1,000 per student. A district spokesperson says in addition to cost, they're dealing with a shortage of bus drivers. But this group says no matter the reason, the result is the same. There will be such a negative impact on our children, on our community, and, our, and most importantly, on the future of our education of our kids. Now, a Sweetwater District spokesperson also says they are still looking into other possibilities for transportation, but so far, nothing has been worked out.